But the defenders erase the deficit. Brock Lamley rifles it over to Jake Dodge, and Dort's going to lead 27 to 23. The Chargers do clap back. Noah Elagan looking like Ricky Bobby here with the shake and bake over the defense right here and taking it down to, around to the 30 yard line. But Dort's going to live up to its defender's name. Jacob Diaz is going to go for it all here, just launching it up towards the end zone. But Casey Biker soars in for the interception. Turnover on downs. Put it at the 20. The defenders did lead 30-23 to after the third. This was a back-and-forth battle. A log and plunges in for six. The PAT would tie this game up at 30, and this one would head into overtime. But Dort's going to come in on top with their first winning season, 36-30. to Back in Sioux City, top-ranked Morningside hosting a struggling Concordia team. Trent Stoll's my man. We know we, this kid can sling it. He'll rip it over to Bo Ellis, who's coming right into your living room. Almost takes me out. But it's a rarity right here. Stoll's he's going to drop back, and he's going to get sacked. I haven't seen this all season long, but that was Concordia's long bright spot. The former Heelan standout gets the defense to bite on this one and uncorks over the middle to Addison Ross for another score. The Bulldogs get some great field position after a long punt return, but on fourth down, Jacob Kotzer. He's going to come in like a man on a mission. He's going to rope down the back. A great play by the junior. And more importantly, in this game, Connor Niles becomes the NAIA leader in career touchdowns. So congrats to him. And congrats to Morningside getting a 49-0 win. Well, down in Hastings, Northwestern trying to get back to its winning ways. The Broncos making some big plays early. Isaiah Jackson throwing the ball up for grabs to Terrence McHenry. An impressive grab right at the goal line. 34-yard score cuts Northwestern leads to nine points. But the Red Raiders, they also turn to the aerial attack. Tyson Coima showing off the hose. He's been doing this all year long, connecting with Shane Solberg. The sophomore is going to win the foot race to the end zone, and he's going to get to the promised land. Solberg led the Red Raiders with 269 yards and two scores on 13 catches. And this became a track meet, folks, on fourth down. Hastings going to score on this one, but it's the Red Raiders who are going to come out on top on this one. They win it 37-29. to 29.